Welcome back to my channel. So I've created this look today if you want to watch it. I'm Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I created this look which is my take on a sunset eye. If you want to see how I created it then please continue watching and make sure you subscribe as well so you can see more uplets. Thank you. So I've got one eyeball done, so I'm going to do the other one on camera with you. So I'm going to pick up this shade Licorice first from the palette, which is the red colour, so that one there. And I'm going to apply that into my crease. Now I'm just going to slowly start diffusing the edge and also wing out the eyeshadow on the outer corner as well. I'm going to pick up my next shade which is this orange colour and it's the shade Suck. And I'm going to pick this up on a fluffy Morphe brush. This is the M433. And I'm just going to lightly place that where the red finishes and just buff out the edges as well. I'm trying to get the shadow all the way up here because that's how I like it to be and just try and leave this bit here and also the inner corner. So I'm just using little circle motions just to get that orange on there and I'm not dipping into the palette too much either because I just want to slowly diffuse the red and have a pop of the orange and at the same time you want to wing it out Get back in with the red licorice shade again and just pack that onto the crease. I want this look to be quite predominantly red. And then I'll go back in with that Morphe brush just to blend the edges. So now I'm going to pick up the shade Virgin and Cone. So that one's Virgin and Cone's that one there. And I'm just going to mix those two together and just brighten up underneath my brow bone. So I'm just going where the arch of my brow is and then all the way down. What this does is just cleans everything up in case you went a bit too far. And then I'm going to go pick up the orange brush again, maybe dip a little bit in there and just diffuse those. So now I'm going to cut my crease. Um, I've got this flat brush. Don't know what the name of it is, but it's just flat. Um, and I'm going to pick up my matte paint pot in the shade Lane Low and just use this to cut my crease. What I like to do is pat this product on rather than swiping it because what you end up doing is mixing the eyeshadow colour with the base. I'm going to leave the outer corner here free of the matte paint pot and I'm going to blend the shadow into there instead. You just want to take your time when you are cutting the crease because you don't want to ruin all that blended work that you've done in the in the in the crease, I won't figure out what the word was. Left like one third free of product there. And then I'm going to wipe everything that's on there and use the same brush and go in with the shade Lemon Drop, which is the filed yellow shade, and apply that all over my lid. So I like to pack this colour on first because it is quite crumbly, but that's because. It's just so pigmented, so if you pat it on first and then you can go in and start swiping it to get a more finished look. Now that I've got last product on the brush, I'm going to start to carve that crease out a bit more. So I just tend to look, open my eyes, look straight ahead and let the brush do the work. So I'm going to pick up the licorice brush and a bit of product on my brush and start to pat the colouring where that gold finishes and by patting it will make it easier to blend that rather than swiping and you, what I'll end up doing is getting that shimmery yellow into the matte white, uh, the matte colour so I'm just patting that in 
And what I'll do is I'll go in between the brushes as well in a bit. So I'm going to pick up the orange brush and start bringing some of that colour into it. Go back in with the yellow brush and just pat over the edges and this will just slowly allow the shades to blend into one another like that. Okay, I'm just gonna apply more orange to my crease because I feel like this has got less orange compared to the other eye. For the lower lash line, I picked a shade of licorice. So I started off with Gumdrop, which is this pastel purple. But to make it deeper, I went in with the licorice shade. And then to deepen it again, I went in with... I went in with this one, which is delicious. So just so that I get that dark purple colour. So I'll go in with Gumdrop first. I can lay down the initial purple colour and then I'll go into Licorice and start deepening it up a little bit. Don't worry, this looks quite messy right now. I'll show you how to clean that up in a bit. A bit more Licorice. Now I'm going to go into Delicious and just lightly tap in there because we don't want it too dark. So I'm applying this straight up to my lash line. And then for the lower bit, I'll just go back in with licorice. Just to diffuse everything. And you wanna make sure that you're connecting. So to clean under there, make it straight, I just go in with powder. And this is MUA's powder in the shade Banana. And what you wanna do is just angle that powder there. So what this will do is, it's like an eraser, so it'll erase what shadows you don't want to be there. This is the shade Wow, which is this matte yellow, and I'm going to pick up a Morphe M508, which is this really tiny detailed brush, and what I'm going to do is apply this right at the edge of our cut crease on the inner corner up to our pupil. Well, it's just, it just finishes off the cut crease and makes it look a bit more sharper and with this tiny brush it allows you to get in there and if you go a bit up just bring back the licorice brush and lightly dust away. I'm just going to dust this away so as you can see you've got that winged eye. So this is my final look, uh, this is a look that I've created, so this is my second one using Jeffree's palette. Um, if you enjoyed watching it then please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all soon, bye.